Well, I say we just meditate and then I'm going to read you a poem from this lovely, maybe I've read from it before, this John O'Donohue book, To Bless the Space Between Us. It's such a nice book. There's a nice blessing for friendship. So um, yeah, well, we'll see who, if anybody else shows up, we will let you in and welcome you because I know, and I just want to say, if anyone's showing up late, you're welcome to show up late because we understand <laughs> that late happens and things go on and you can't always be completely punctual. So we'd rather have you here late than not at all. All right, so make yourself comfortable and I will read you this poem and then we will meditate. This is a blessing for friendship. May you be blessed with good friends and learn to be a good friend to yourself, journeying to that place in your soul where there is love, warmth, and feeling. May this change you. May it transfigure what is negative, distant, or cold within your heart. May you be brought into real passion, kindness, and belonging. May you treasure your friends. May you be good to them, be there for them, and receive all the challenges, truth, and light you need. May you never be isolated, but know the embrace of your Anamkara. Know the embrace of your soul. All right. Just letting yourself breathe and thanking yourself for being a good friend to yourself by showing up here. And by taking this time to be quiet with yourself, to honor yourself, even in the busyness of your life, somehow you've carved out this time. Time to let yourself Really come home to yourself. Turning away from devices and all of the pings, notifications, responsibilities, all of the pressures that you navigate. Letting yourself breathe and relax into silence and feeling into your heart. And all the ways that you show up as a good friend, first to yourself. What does it mean for you to be a good friend to yourself? Is it how you talk to yourself or the ways that you are kind to yourself? The ways you nourish yourself?
Just sensing how you are a good friend to others. Remembering birthdays, sending gifts on holidays, making soup when they can't feed themselves. Offering a hug or just a listening ear. Just receiving how you know how to be a good friend. And then as a good friend, how do you navigate the challenging conversations? The moments where you feel like your friends are crossing a boundary or pushing on you. How do you communicate with them in a way that is firm and kind? Maybe just placing one or both hands on your heart and just feeling the love that lives in your heart and how in order to be living a sustainable life, it's so important to really love yourself and really take care of yourself especially as a rare giver. really with every breath, letting yourself receive all the ways you show up for yourself, for your family, and your friends. And slowly coming back. Uh, 
Now let's just take a few minutes and reflect on friendship. Let's just reflect. What does it mean to be a good friend to yourself? And what are the elements of being a good friend? So let's just journal about that for a few minutes and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Oh, good. Veronica's here. Coming back. Hmm. Waiting for Veronica to connect. Um, so I'm curious about what, what it means to be a good friend first to yourself and like, what are the, what's needed in friendships because to maintain friendships. And we've talked about this before, but it's like, it's an ongoing practice to maintain friendships and maintain the integrity of friendships. And especially as a rare giver, you know, how do you navigate that? Hi, Veronica. Welcome. 